Jackson tours our off-grid homestead, solar system, and water catchment. Did I tell you I set up a solar-powered chest freezer? No! We got a chest freezer that had been retrofitted with a 12-volt little compressor in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to step in and ran it off of two uh, 100 watt hour batteries and uh, two 200 watt. These are huge. And they weigh about 150 pounds a piece, don't they? These are 208 pounds each. 200? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's two inverters set up in series so that we can supply about uh, 50 amps of 120 to the house. I have not wired the house for 220 uh, because I didn't want to have all of the loss that you have from running two inverters simultaneously. Mm. So the inverters take about 50 watts each in uh, standby so every 24 hours you're gonna burn a thousand watts just in standby. So by doing the uh, series instead of the parallel for the 220, uh, we save a, a kilowatt yeah. a day, which is a lot. Yeah, that's half an hour of your production. It is. On a perfect day. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a perfect day. <laughs> Although we come close in Arizona. We come pretty darn close. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, are you talking about my... Lister generator. That's cool. Pressure tank here. It no, it's not. It's a water softener. Yeah. Cleaner than benzic water. Oh, way cleaner. <laughs> way cleaner. Yeah, mostly that's just to get silt and stuff out. Because there is, like, if you were to stand up on the top blocks down at the water tanks and look down at the bottom, you can see sand at the well. Mm. So this is just a 10 or 20 micron to. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. this is just a gross filter. Yeah, all we're trying to do is keep the sand out of the hot water heater and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look too gross yet. No, it's not. It's probably... Let's see. It's probably a year old. Yeah. And you do have some catchment systems for small areas, correct? We have one, we have one area for, for catchment, and I'll show you that in the back of the house here in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. The goal eventually is to have two or three more tanks the size of the ones up there, mm -hmm. just down over the hill, so that they'll be just below house level, so that we can pull the water off the roof, it'll roll downhill, and never stay in the, t in the pipes. Mm. So the pipes will be dry, so we can, that means if we get a snow melt, the water will run down, and we don't have to worry about the pipes freezing in the middle of winter. And we do sometimes get rain during warm spells during the winter. Okay. So, um, yeah, the goal is to do that. Then we'll be able to set up another water pipe that goes into the garden that, t that hooks into the regular irrigation for the garden that pumps completely off of the water tanks. Okay. And that's the goal. Long -term. So I have a separate water tank that runs off catchment for garden stuff and then yep. one for yep. household uses. And that would, that would change the planet. The building right over here is a workshop. It's 20 by 20. It's a concrete block construction. It has a uh, southwestern style roof which works well. However, we got hit very, very hard with uh, some straight line wind. It pulled up the, the, the roll roof for about uh, four or five feet and uh, did some other damage. So you see all the PVC pipe here with some row cover on top of it. This piece that's closest to us came down in a uh, dust devil right before we left a couple of weeks ago. So it, what actually happened is it blew all of the PVC from that bed right there yeah. up in the air 
and it landed in the pile. Probably now it's at probably 1,600 gallons because I'm you sure have another maxed. 50 gallons at the top. Yeah. Okay. So the pipe goes down, around, and up and in? Yes. Yep. So you need to have some pressure or is there a pump at the no. bottom? End? No, it's ordinary hydrostatic pressure. Okay. So if you've, if you've ever looked at, you know an Egyptian uh, level is? Or a water level? Yeah. Yeah. So if you think about it, the water level in the uh, pipe that comes down from the roof can't be any higher than the highest point of the uh, of the uh, horizontal pipe that goes into the tank. So when it rains, the water just pushes into the tank. And the good thing about that is I can have the pipe secured to the building, so I don't have to worry about it being blown around. A lot of people will say, "Oh, just." Just put the pipe from the from the gutters directly into the tank. Well, the problem here, when you have 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds, you'll be blowing everything all over the place. So uh, you gotta anchor things. So we have the anchors there. Now, does this mean that if it was completely full all the way to the top, then the water just pours off the top of the gutters? The top is not sealed. Uh, so the water will just come out the top. So the water will come out the top. Now I have a hose spigot on the side that I can run a hose, a garden hose to, and run that someplace else. Okay. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Ah. This is so cool. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What we want to do is, like I say, is, is put more tanks down there that are below the level of the hill. Mm -hmm.